The overall goal of this procedure is to introduce mutations into specific genes in the cave fish Astyanax mexicanus. This method can help answer key questions in the evolutionary biology field about the genetic basis of the evolution of cave traits. The main advantage of this technique is that the effect of loss of a specific gene can now be tested in Astyanax mexicanus. After designing and assembling transcription activator-like effector nucleases, or talons, according to the text protocol, use two microliters of SAC1 to digest four micrograms of sequence-verified template at 37 degrees Celsius for two hours. Run two microliters of the SAC1 digested plasmid on a 1.5% agarose gel and check for a single band to verify digestion. To carry out T3 mRNA production, Use 0.5 micrograms of linearized template to set up half reactions following a standard protocol. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for two hours. Then add 0.5 microliters of DNAs and incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. After purifying the mRNA, to check the quality, use a product that eliminates RNase contamination to clean the gel apparatus. Then, prepare a 1.2% gel. Mix 1 microliter of mRNA, 4 microliters of nuclease-free water, and 5 microliters of glyoxal loading dye. Incubate the samples at 50 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Then briefly centrifuge the tubes and place them on ice.